so student let's talk about the a uh, next segment that is the a uh, structures of the a uh, commodity markets so the a uh, commodity market it comes under the uh, ministry of consumer affairs it's a top authority who run the um, commodity exchange market and then it's below is the foreign market commission and then commodity exchange market in the commodity exchange market it comes to a two exchange market that is the national exchange market and the another one is the regional exchange market in the national exchange market there are the uh, four type of the uh, exchange market that is the multiple commodity exchange market the national commodity and the derivative exchange market and the third one is indian commodity and exchange market and the fourth one is national multi commodity exchange limited these are the four comes under the uh, national exchange now where we talking about the a uh, regional exchange there are the national board of trade and the second one is to be other regional market there are the different different state having the uh, their regional stock market so here is the um structures of the uh, commodity market so let's we discuss in the detail let's talk in the details of indian commodity market structures structure institution the first one is the ministry of the consumer affairs the department of the consumer affairs is the one of the two department under the ministry of the consumer affairs food and the public distribution it was to constituted as the a separate department in the june 1997 and it was a considered the necessary to have the separate department to give the um born out the beginning in the a uh, consumer movement in the country so this department has been the entrusted with the uh, following work the first is implementations of the consumer protection act 1986 the implementations of the bureau of indian standard act 2016 the implementations of the standard of weight and the measure the legal metrology act in 2009 the regulation of the package commodities the essential commodity act in 1955 10 of the 1955 the supply prices and the distribution of the essential commodities not deal with the especially by the any other department next is the preventions of the black marketing and the maintenance of the supply of the essential commodities act in 1980 next is the monetary of the uh, prices and the availabilities of the essential commodities next is internal trade the next is the uh, training of legal metrology the next one is the embellis and the uh, names preventions of the improper use act 1952 the laying down the specifications standard and the code and the ensuring the quality control of the um, biofuels for the ant uses the next one is the consumer corporation and the final is the national test houses so these are the a uh, work of the ministry of consumer affairs and this ministries of consumer affairs control the a uh, commodity market in india now next we talk about the forward market commission the another very very important institution it's established in the 1953 under the provisions of the forward bar contract regulation act 1952 it consists of not less than the two but not the exceeding the a four member appointed by the a central government out of them one being to be the nominated by the central government to be the chairman of the a uh, commission the forward market commission was the chief regulated of the a uh, commodity future market in india 
As of the July 2014, it regulated the 17 trillion worth of the commodity traded in India. It is headquartered in the Mumbai and the Financial Regulatory Agency in the overseen by the Ministry of the Finance. The commission is allowed to be the commodity trading in the 22 exchange in India of the of which 6 are to be national on 28 September 2050 the forward market commission was to be merged with the securities exchange board of India to make the regulations of the commodity future market strong so this is very very important point to be noted that in September 2015 the FMC is merged in the SEBI the SEBI is to be ruled out in the secondary market and which is to be regulation of the commodity future market strong now the next institution is the national exchange which comes under the multi commodity exchange mcx very very important institution in the indian commodity market so it is the online platform where in the commodity like the gold silver lead copper zinc crude oil etc are to be traded so the mcx is the first online platform in the indian commodity market so mc X has a headquarter in the Mumbai. It is started in the functioning in 2003. It is the largest commodity futures exchange in India. Forward market commodity was to be the regulated of the MCX till the 2015, and after which was the FMC was merged with the SEBI as we had learned already. FMC is merged in SEBI in 2015. Next is buying and the selling of the commodity is happening over the MCX. They are the physically settle or the cash settle. The SEBI has the a regulated of MCX has the major physically settlement of the stock derivative mandatory recently. So it is a compulsory to physically settlement of the stock derivative in MCX. The major commodity exchange in India is Multi Commodity Exchange, the National Commodity and Derivative Exchange of India. We learn in next, and then the National Multi Commodity Exchange and the Indian Commodity Exchange. Next. Institutions of the Indian Commodity Market is the National Commodity and the Derivative Exchange Limited. The National Commodity and Derivative Exchange (NCDEX) is the a commodity exchange dealing the primarily. in the agriculture commodity in india the national commodity and the derivative exchange was established in the 2003 its headquarter in mumbai many of the india loan leading to the financial institution having the stake in the ncdex It is the September 2019. Significantly, the stakeholders, including the Life Insurance Company (LIC) and the National Stock Exchange of India Limited (NSC) and the National Bank of Agriculture and Rural Development (NABAR), is including to trading on that. It is establishing at the maintaining on the online futures market for the up. crops and cde hacks has to be the healthy increasing the market transparency the exchange assess the indian farmers to in the price of the discovery the process it is very important the ncde is mainly to be the agriculture product and it is to be determining to the fixing of the up price the ncdx is enable them to the pricing their goods more accurately even it may be are not active in the future market middleman who are known as a commission agent previously the control much of the a market information in india so the ncd has to be control over the a price of the agriculture product so the middleman is not dominated 
Let's talk about the our third national commodity market that is the Indian Commodity Exchange Limited. The Indian Commodity Exchange Limited is the other commodity exchange market in India which is the launching in the 2009 but it is very soon close within in the 5 year that is the 2014 and then the national multi Uh, commodity exchange and the uh, Indian Commodity Exchange is the merge in the 2017 July and very soon it is closed in the December 2017. Indian Commodity Exchange Market is the a national wide online platform in the a uh, commodity exchange. The exchange in the a uh, public private partnership, the triple three uh, three partnerships, and with the a uh, MMTC that. is to be mineral and metal trading companies which is provide the uh, fertilizer seeds to the farmer feed to the animals and the uh, dairy products and indian potash limited is also engaged in the agriculture products and the kribhco the krishak bharat cooperative limited which is the uh, state a uh, companies uh, state industrial which is established in the gujarati also provide the uh, um, industrial also provide the uh, agriculture product and the idfc the industrial development financial corporation and reliance exchange meet limited and um, the industrial housing finance limited as the uh, prominent in the uh, share holder so it is the international benchmark for the indian commodity exchange and it provide the investors to be a uh, access all over the a uh, country in the a uh, modern communication method now when talk about the last national exchange national multi commodity exchange of india limited it was to be launched in november 26 2002 as a indian first online demutualization commodity exchange by the group of indian commodity based the corporation and public agency it is a listing of first contract on the 24th commodities in november 2000 As of the July 2016, the NMCE, the listed the future contract on a total of the 13 different commodity ranging from the oil and oil seeds to rubber, sacking, raw jutes, coffee, isambul, seeds, chana, paper, and cardamom. NMCXCE sorry NMCE and the ICEX agree to merge in the July 2017 and were to close the deal by the December 2017 so again the NC uh, sorry NMCX and the IC EX is a merge in 2017 and it shut down in 2017 as before MC uh, CX cases the merger was to be the forge in the part of the an indian regularity requirement that is the exchange meets in rupees 100 crores minimum net worth for the commodity exchange at the time of the merger the nmce is a net worth was rupees 76 crores while the icex net worth was rupees 100 crores so icex was giving the regularity approval of the july 2017 to restart the operation and this the ie icex the indian commodity exchange was further to be a continue the operations next we talk about the regional exchange it comes under national boards of trade limited and bot so the national board of the trade is a non government company incorporated in the 30th july 1990 It is a public unlisted company and it is to be classified as a company limited by share. A listed company are those company which is not listed in the uh, stock exchange. It is listed in the um it is uh, trading in the over the counter market. The NBOT, the National Board of Trade is a commodity exchange located in the Indore very very important uh, MCQs. The NBOT is 
NBOD is located in the Indo. The NBOD is in India only the Soya Commodity Exchange and it's taking the step to the start the future trade in the palm oil. So first this NBOD that started in the soya and then traded in palm oil. It is the making the efforts to start the a future of the other commodity such as to be the chickpeas grams and the cotton seed but first it is commodity is exchange in the uh, soya beans so nbod is the one of the fastest growing the commodity exchange recognized by the uh, government of india under the um uh, areas of the uh, forward market commodities so here is the detailed explanation of the all the institution mcx mcex and ICE NMCEX and the regional exchange is the national board of the trade and further we have other regional stock exchange other in 21 as here is the listed in Bombay Stock Exchange, National Stock Exchange, Ahmedabad, Bangalore, Bhupans, Bhumneshwari, Calcutta, Iskochin, Compendian, and Delhi Stock Exchange, Guwahati, Hyderabad, Jaipur, and Ludhiana, Madhya Pradesh, Madras, Bangalore, sorry, Bangalore, and Mokta, Mirrut, OTC, the Pune Stock Exchange, Saurashtra, Uttar Pradesh, and Vardhana Stock Exchange. So every state having the, uh, their own stock exchange.